Hi, Internet! I'm Lynchwick, and welcome back to Full Throttle, where we have just escaped Mine Road after uh, killing several people uh, with our chainsaw, our one-two chainsaw, just, you know, dead. And uh, we jumped a gorge using our souped-up superbike, and now we're here at Corley Motors, and we have to figure out exactly where we're going, so uh, I think I'm going to go actually into Corley Motors first and see what we got to work with here. Because I can't quite remember... Uh, knock on this big door. This big brass copper door. Copper door, not brass. I'm here for the shareholders meeting. Mr. Ripperger has postponed the meeting until Mr. Corley's murderers are apprehended. All the shareholders were notified. Uh... Yeah. Well, I haven't checked my voicemail lately, Mac. Also, just, just... Uh, th this is something super petty and it probably will work against my favor. Um, Corley's m murderers... Certainly they have my picture on the news. Uh, do you not know me? I am Ben? Ben Corley, Corley's killer? You know, from TV? Anyway, so we gotta go and, uh... Well, I don't think actually there's anything much up that we can do up here since that was just telling us that, hey, the shareholders aren't here. So, um... we go down here? Yeah. Alright. Never mind. Let's go down here. Oh, now you're going super fast, Ben. Like, that's not a normal person's walking speed. Souvenirs here. Oh. We got your hats. I remember this guy. Pivots. This guy is... all right here. Official Corley Motors merchandise. As a kid, I found this guy to be one of the most disgusting Driving characters I've ever seen in anything control. I've ever played. Our bunnies come uh. with batteries included. Lovable, lovable little Hello, bunnies. Horace. The officially licensed bunny of the Corley Motors. <clears throat> what can I get you? Uh, why, what, what's with all the lights down here? Why all the lights down here? We got a demolition derby tonight. Ooh. First prize is a vintage curly hardtail. Completely restored by the old man himself. Hmm. Yep. Okay. Oh, what's this big arena doing all the way out here in the middle of nowhere? Also, what's this company's headquarters doing out here in the middle of nowhere? What's this big arena doing way out here? Corley built the Smashatorium so his employees could have some wholesome entertainment nearby. He sure took care of his employees. I got no idea what's gonna happen to us now that he's gone. So you work for the company? What's your job? Is it just working here at the Derby? Uh, I'm looking for a souvenir. I'm looking for a good souvenir. Well, good souvenirs is all I got. What can I fix you up with? Um... That little rabbit looks cute. Something small, furry, and yellow. Sorry, this is the only set of teeth I got. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, there goes another one. I really hate this character. Um, how about this car? How about that little car there? It's small, but it's not cheap, my friend. You better just take it for a test drive to make sure. Uh, I could. Oh, right, you can buy the bunnies in bulk. Because you see that box behind him, that's a 12 set. Bunnies. And they aren't actually you bunnies. bunnies, they're, they're toys. They're, ran they're wind-up toys. How much you oh, got on? They're not wind up. Uh, I think they're um Well no, that one looks like it's wind up. Drive. I think you may not be ready for the kind of commitment that comes with a Corley Bunny value pack. Sorry, son. Yes, rabbits are the pet that you want to give your kids when you don't want to give them a fish, but you want to teach them responsibility when that pet is probably doomed to die because you gave it to a child. Anyway, how about those shirts? Those uh, shirts come in extra, extra large. Eh. Eh, uh, no, but they're pretty shrunk. No thanks. Uh, so, how about the pennants? What do those pennants say on them? Can't beat a Corley, they say. Kind of ironic, actually, considering how he died. Too soon. Still, look great on your bedroom wall. No walls. My bike is my home. We could set you up with a little pole so you could uh, make a flag, you know, for your back seat. I'll, uh, think about it. Do you actually have any money? As much as I need. Which is... None, I'm guessing? Uh, vultures. Seen any vultures around here? Nah, we don't have much of a vulture problem here, even though their hideout is right up the road. They stay pretty much locked up in there. Not very social. Hmm. Uh, so we both were understanding that th that was the gang that we were referring to, not the bird. Cool. What's in the hat? What's in the hat? I don't know. Came filled with it. Uh. Probably some sort of packing material. Uh. Packs a punch, I'll tell you that much. Uh. Oh, Look God. Here. Nothing personal, but why don't you mosey along and stop scaring away all the other customers, all right? Just clearing my throat. Um, okay. Well, well he said that we had a, um... 
We, had, we sure, were able sure. to buy it. We were able to Just do this. Go out of range. Just don't go out of range. Got it. So is this out of range? All sizes and colors. Fill our handy beverage hats with your drink of choice. Why is it coming back? I wanted to go over there. You'll be keeping cold and looking bold. Oh, great. You killed the battery. Oh. Okay, so that was my fault. Uh, you, big fella. Yeah? Come give our derby car a spin. Well, I mean, I, I just I just broke it. Um, Can I take this? All right. Let's see the cash, amigo. I'll owe you. No bucks, no yucks, compadre. Uh, shoot. Okay, so, um... Souvenirs can I actually remind take you that. Your special smashatory adventure. Um... We can actually take a look over here, shut up on the since long the car home. can't go over there, so we might as well take a look. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, I do remember this. Okay, so yeah, this is a this is a fairly simple puzzle. We actually okay, so we need to get the car, the battery, so we can drive it underneath here. And what that does is that it gets that guy out of his stand, I think, and we can take the twelve pack of bunnies. But we need to figure out how to get this one bunny since I need the one bunny first. Um, I need to. I think I remember this actually. If we don't got it, then it stinks. <laughs> um. Pat the bunny. You know you want to. Well, I was going to, but then you, you said just I can't could... get this stuff anywhere else, folks. And it's cheap too. I think. I'm practically. I'm not putting my lips on that. Oh, he turned away. Okay, yeah, that, that that was what I remembered. Yeah, I thought I was gonna say like I think I have to get him to turn around, but I Watch can't remember how to do that other than talking about um, shirts, and he already did that and These didn't give me control, so I didn't know if that was gonna happen. Point is, we have a bunny. I know what to ex I know exactly what to do with the bunny. I just need to figure out where the he said the vulture hideout was up the road, because I remember the bunny is definitely for the vulture hideout. So let's see if we can ah oh it's right here. Okay, yeah, up the road. Right here? Oh, wow, I would not have even seen that. Oh. Yep, there it is. Skeleton. Okay. I don't think we should be here, Ben. But I know that this is where the game is supposed to take place next. There's the vultures hideout. On the other side of this field, I've heard a lot about the vultures. And I've also killed several of them. Oh! And I guess it's all true. Yep, I remember this part of the game. Uh, we don't currently have the tools we need to get over this, but, you know, we do have a bunny. I should explain. Um, we need a battery for the, um, for the remote control car. And the bunny has a battery, because, you know, it's a robot. Uh, unfortunately, there's really no way to get into it. Uh, so... You know, you work with the tools you have on hand, right? Come on. There it is. There we go. Okay, so I was able to blow up the battery just out of the bunny, and now we can use that to soup up our RC car again. I'm just going to skip this because I don't want to look at it. Skip that. There we go. Okay, and now we're gonna go back down here to wait a minute. Stadium. Can I do stuff with the stadium? Hmm. No. I'm not putting my lips on that. No. Well, then what's the point? I mean, like, if we can. Oh, oh, it's just the whole thing. It just lets you know what it is. All right, never mind then. Let's Don't crowd, get back here. For now we can just put it right back in. That's right. Official Corlin. That should put some life into it. Okay, dope. Sure, sure. Take it for a spin. Now we can get it over don't here. Don't tell me what to do, Horace. You gross thing. Alright, now that we got this, let's just drive it into here. Hey, don't go in there. Don't tell me what to do. Now look what you did. The entrance is all the way through the factory. Hang on, little buddy. Daddy's coming. Now it's just me and the bunnies. Yep. And now that he's out of the way, that's ugh, that monster. I'm just gonna take these and go. Oh, all right. Yeah, we got back to the. Okay, maybe I. Hmm. Did I did I do this part? I can't actually remember. Like, I think this was about as far as I got uh, when I uh, played. But I just realized I'm starting to get achievements again. So maybe 
I have uh, done some of this stuff before. I just am not remembering because at that point I was pretty tired and upset that I lost um, my sound stuff. Okay, yeah, I think I actually did it just to sort of get a refresher. And now, how come I didn't remember that? It must have been. It must have been late. All right. So, point being, we have our bunnies. Been replanted. Oh, Tiny gross. Little vultures. Yep. They. I guess they must have heard the. Uh, Explosions and decided to check it out, and now they got all the mines back. Uh, let's get rid of those. This was like, this was my favorite sequence of this game as a kid. Like, I thought this was really funny. Now we get to watch 12 buddies blow up very slowly. I'm gonna wait till the first one blows up before I start following them. Oh! Okay, never mind. Second one. Um, you know what? Let's just let him finish. <laughs> oh, oh, geez. Just the one. You okay? Can we, uh, we can go now, right? Don't think so. Hmm. No. Hmm. No. Did this, hmm. Was that not enough? No. Did... Did... Is that it? I'm saving that chain for my friends on the old mine road. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like there's any more pathing that's gonna let me go on. Oh. Hmm. No. Can we go any further? Hmm. No. Hmm. Hmm. No. Nope. Hmm. No. Hmm. Hmm. No. All right. So I think we're just out of bunnies now. So hold on. Is that something I'm forgetting? Like, do we have any more bunnies? Is there's this has Don't to be something. So. so if I leave, dang, there goes another value pack. Okay, okay. So I guess we do have multiple bunny packs that we can get. And while he's chasing that car, also who's controlling it? Because, like, I wasn't there to control it anymore. I just drove it in, and now it's driving itself. That car is MVP. Because it's basically doing my job for me. Okay, it's making my job easier. It's what it's doing. Okay, so maybe they realize that this is a pretty... I've never encountered this problem before. Like, uh, the bunny box has always made it to the other side. I don't know why this one became a problem. Maybe, the... maybe there's another step that I'm missing? I don't think so. Cause I'm pretty sure it's just straightforward. Get the bunnies to go across, right? Let's just toss the box down. Let them do their job. Let's try again. Mm. Hmm. No. Let's get as far up as we can and then do the bunnies. I don't want to set off any of these boys. Okay. It's probably about as far as we can go. Oh, okay. Never mind. He's just gonna walk back over here again. Get to watch all of this happen. I, these I probably shouldn't stand this far up close. Come on. Please work this time. One. Two. Looks like they're making it move. Looks like I might have a shot this time. All right, that's the farthest point we could make it to. No. Is that far enough? I don't want to set off any of these. Mm. God dang. Um. Shoot. Why is this a. Uh, no. 
Why is this so hard? No. All right. Uh, maybe I should skip ahead just until I figure this out. So give me a moment. Okay. Full disclosure, I had to look it up because uh, after running bunnies through multiple times, I figured I was missing something. And I was. Uh, you are supposed to use the bunny box uh, on this, but then you're also supposed to do... You have a little bit of time to uh, collect the bunnies. You know, because you want to make sure that you have controlled uh, pathing going on. Come on, we just need to pick up the one more. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna let this one bunny go, and then we're gonna progressively make our way across. You know, something a little tedious. So we can get to here safely. I don't want to set off any of these boys. Okay. Step here. I think that's gonna be good enough. So let's use one bunny. Oof. Right in front of me. Fun. Okay, one more. How you doing? Two. You made it two steps. Oh yeah, this is way better. This is this is yeah. How did, I completely forgot that you had to do it this way. Like I thought it was just release the bunnies and go. Oops. I don't want to set off any of these boys. Yeah, I get it. One more. Do I have any more bunnies? I have another bunny. I have two bunnies. Got it. Don't want to drop it right now. I get forward first. Okay. One more. Good. Oh, we made it. And we had one bunny to spare. Hello. That's the guy I was telling you about, Susie. You sure? Yeah. That's the guy who killed my father. <laughs> All right, vultures. Marine? <laughs> it's a misunderstanding. Oh, jeez. Let's rip him quick. Listen, Mo. You're making a big mistake. Oh, Ben. You're right. We shouldn't do this quickly. We should draw this out, don't you think, Susie? Hey, I got all night. You heard her, kids. Let's draw this out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so, Marine, wait a minute, you're a vulture, <laughs> uh, okay, so let's see, your father was killed by River Burger, not me, Corley and I were friends, Malcolm wants you to take over his company, uh, your father, don't you dare talk about my father, you heartless bastard, okay, but we were friends, Corley and I, I said shut up about my dad, okay, um, I remember the answer to this. It's just I want to see. I don't remember seeing any of these as a kid, so I just wanted to go through a little bit. Malcolm wants you to take over his company. Malcolm wants. I said, shut up about my dad. Okay. Well, you know what? Uh, a lot of this stuff is kind of um, not not Ben style, which is sort of like giving up, I guess. Uh, so. Let me go, or else. Or else what? Um. I'll stick the pole cats on you. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I'll tear this place apart. Ooh, even better. I'll get blood all over your driveway. That's probably true. But the answer is, I'll call you names. I'll call you names. <laughs> like what? Uh, how about this one? That your father is the only one who ever called you this. Diaper dynamo. How? Did you hear that name? Your father. He told me just before he died. You bludgeoned my father and then talked about old times? Only one of those. Rip Burger did. A photographer took pictures, but her camera was stolen by the same thug that came after you. I... I still have that role. Well, develop it, would you? While I still fit in my clothes? Okay, you stay here. Hey. Ow. Thought we were friends. Sorry. Yeah, well, don't sweat it. I'm gonna get Rip Burger even if I die trying. <laughs> Knock on wood. Expose Rip Burger at the shareholders meeting. That way, we take him down, we save my gang, and your father gets his dying wish. You take over Corley Motors. Rip Burger canceled the shareholders meeting. Yeah, I know he wants me. He wants me out of the picture. Until the murderers were brought to justice. So, no shareholders meeting until we're both dead. Hmm. 
That could be arranged. Okay, so here we go. Faking Ben and Maureen's death. Act one, scene one. <laughs> Adrian Ripburger, in a desperate attempt to lure our Maureen out of hiding, has developed the following lame-ass scheme. First prize at tonight's smash-up derby is a vintage hardtail that Mo restored with her dad. Uh -huh. Perhaps Mo will try to nab said bike on account of her sentimental attachment to it. So Ben and Mo play along, put on disguises, and enter the demolition derby, which ends tragically when their cars explode and both are presumed dead. Um, uh, question. Please save your questions until the end. Okay. Now, the explosives in Mo's car can only be triggered by a head-on collision with Ben's car. This ejector seat projects Mo clear of the explosion, and she parachutes to safety. Don't you think someone will notice her rejecting out of her car? No, they'll all be watching you running around on fire. Oh, geez. Yeah, that's another question I have. When your car explodes, you climb from it in flames and run around the stadium distracting the audience. In your cute little asbestos suit, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Some plan. All right, then. Let's go blow you little darlings up. All right, folks. Oh, snap. Are we doing this right now? Hold on, I have to save. The episode just ended. Oh, God. The Corley Motors Smashatorium Amateur Driver Ultimate Destruction Maximum Carnage Marathon. Oh, no. Let's meet our crash cage gladiators. That mysterious looking hooded figure wouldn't give us his real name. He prefers to be known as the Unknown Avenger. And that's just fine with us, isn't it, folks? The disguises are great. By the way, uh, now I'm just embarrassed for them. Who do they think they're fooling with those ludicrous disguises? And next to him is another mass newcomer. Please give a big smashatorium salute to the princess of Pile Up, Doreen Schmorley. Good name. Good cover up name. Sick of Okay. Where are you, Ben? Hang on, Mo. Here I come. I can't remember this section of the game at all, so uh this is pretty bad. I can't even drive my car. Okay. Oh. What is that all about? Alright, I need I need to remember the the uh Watch out for the boom boom brothers, Mo. Can I back up? Nope. I can turn around though. So I'm gonna turn around. Okay. Uh, I don't imagine I'm going. What are you doing? I'm Get trying to figure this out. Uh, it has to do with the ramps. I've just got to remember how to use them right. Okay. So they're in the blue car. Go. There we go. And off. Okay, that's not gonna work. Okay. This could be a long episode. I should just end it, but I kind of want to take a look around this and just sort of get a feel for what I'm trying to do. I need to get over to Maureen, but their blue car is not gonna let me, Mr. Embolus. Like, that's their whole thing. I'm pretty sure Doreen's in the, uh, sorry, Doreen. Maureen's in the yellow car. So, what's that? That car stalled when I bounced off the roof. Looks like these babies have a glass jaw. Okay, so we got one car out of the picture. I avoid these other cars forever. So I need. Ah, 
Yeah, it's not gonna let me. I'm just seeing if I can sort of like coax him into an area where I can jump on the roof. There he is. I just need to get enough speed to do it. Okay, that's gonna bounce up. Wait a minute, I do remember this. I can move the other cars. Yeah, I remember this. So if I got a, if I got an orange car, what is this green car doing? Like, are you even participating, dude? Wait, please don't, please don't. That was a, that was just a, that's a rhetorical question. You don't need to actually participate. Just let me do my thing. Do over here. Yep. And now, just gotta get him over here. Remember that corner, it bounces off. Oh, come on. Okay, get you over here. Alright, and oh! I probably actually don't even need to like get it off the ramp, but I mean, this is just the way I'm trying to. Never mind, that is working lovely. Okay, here we go. Bounce off. Okay, boom, boom, brothers, it's all over. Smash it. Get you. What are you doing? Are you taking a nap? Nope. It's just a car stall because you're terrible at making cars. That's okay, why you guys no. shouldn't be making Time any of them. Big finale. Do it. Here we go. Now that's an explosion, ladies and gentlemen. Can't see any survivors yet. Wait, what's that? Oh jeez. I forgot about this. Um, so now that I'm on fire, I think this blue car is going to start chasing me. Can I? Can't do anything with that. Can I get out of here? Uh, I guess the Avenger never heard of stop, drop, and roll, huh? Oh, looks like there's something over here. Oh, oh, I see. I chased away the, uh... Yeah, I'm chasing away the audience, so now I don't have any witnesses. Oh. They're gonna use the distract is it as a distraction to get away, but now these guys got their car going, now and now I have that firefly while he's hot. to deal with them. Oh jeez. Uh. <laughs> Look at him run. Okay. Okay. So now I'm safe up here, kind of. They're not gonna be able to let me out of here. So what I'm gonna do? I'll wait for them to come back. Okay, never mind. Let's jump down here. Okay, they're gonna try and ram me. I'm gonna use this opportunity to jump on their car. I think I wanna jump into the fire. They're gonna chase me into it, but I'm wearing the asbestos suit and they're in a they're in a uh, gas filled car. Yep. What happened? Did you get him? We finally got him, Bolas. That means Ripburger has to make us vice presidents now, like he promised, and give us 10,000 shares of stock each. Hmm, funny smell. What's that, the temperature light? <laughs> well, on the bright side, I just made 20,000 shares of stock. Oh, God. Time to start the shareholders meeting. Alright, so that takes care of that. 
all over the floor, Mr. Avenger. What? What happened to your deep sentimental attachment to your father's vintage bike? Ben, it's just a bike. I can put it back together in about a half an hour. That's assuming, of course, I can find that key. Key? Also, uh, maybe we should take care of this discussion on the next episode. Can I actually save it? I can't. Okay, never mind. We're doing this now. Um, what key? What key are you talking about? Key to my dad's safe. I remember he hid it somewhere on this bike, but I've looked everywhere and I can't find anything that even looks like a key. Uh, what's in the safe? What's in the safe that's so important? My dad's will. Oh, right. I'm counting on him to tell the truth about me, finally. Why did he keep you a secret all these years? He didn't want people to find out about my mom. What's so bad about Mrs. Corley? She wasn't my mom. Huh. Oh, I see. I was just about to... I was just about to say, are you an illegitimate child? Are you a bastard? But how are we going to get into the factory, then? How are we going to get in the factory? In the back of the factory, there's a secret entrance that leads straight into Dad's office. He used to sneak me in so I could help him with his bike designs. Ah. got too old to do all the work himself. Nah, this is back when I was six. Hmm. <laughs> so, uh, how do I find the secret passage? How do I find the secret passage? Well, it's tricky. You have to wait for all the utility meters to turn black. Then you kick the wall in just the right spot, and you're in. Okay, easy enough. How do I find the right spot to kick? Dad just knew exactly where to kick it. But I remember that there was this big crack in the wall. And if I line up that crack with my eye level and kick the wall right in front of me, this weird portal would open up. Hmm. Okay, but I gotta keep in mind that you were six at this point, so that crack's probably pretty low to the floor, right? Uh, what if what I can't, if I can't find, find it? find that spot? Just line up your eyes with the crack, wait for the meters to go black, and kick. Easy enough. That kicking part is pretty vague. Look, I was only six. Give me a break. But also, they gotta use the kicking function somehow. All we've ever used it for was booting over a truck. I just realized what I just said. <laughs> Superman kind of deal. Alright, uh, how was your flight? How was your flight? Well, there were some explosions during takeoff, and I landed in a minefield. But other than that, it was fine. Uh... I'm fine, by the way. Thanks for asking. Uh-huh. Great, now help me find that key. <laughs> okay, so do you like not like me or something? What are we in, anyway? It's a C-330 Big Mouth Industrial Cargo Jumbo Transport we fixed up. We want to get it rolling so we can take it to biker rallies. You're going to try to fly this thing? Rolling, Ben. Rolling. Uh, this baby's flying days are over, just like mine. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, about that. This finale of the game has to take place somewhere, right? Um... Uh, remember that time you tried to kill me? Remember that time you tried to kill me? Yeah, we really taught you a lesson. <laughs> Get it? All right, so I am done talking to you after that. <laughs> right. Okay, so now that we're free to go, I guess uh, we got to go find that secret entrance on the next episode. So until then, everyone should try to survive the night, and good night. Jeez, what a long episode.